Mr. Small finds a job. Mr. Small is the smallest person in Mr. Land. Being so small, he doesn't eat very much. Can you guess what he has for breakfast? A cornflake. One cornflake, that's all. Oh, that was quite thrilling. I shouldn't have eaten a whole cornflake. Because he's so small, quite often people don't know he's there. Hello there. Can you tell me the time, please? Huh? Heard any football scores? Where can I catch a number 14 bus? Oh. Poor Mr. Small. Still, he can always count on an interesting conversation with his good friend Walter. He too looks forward to their chats. Uh, uh, hello, Mr. Small. What a pleasant surprise. Think it will rain? Oh, no, I think it will stay sunny all day. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. I must be going. <laughs> I wish everyone else in Mr. Land was as friendly as Walter. Maybe if I had a job, they'd take more notice of me. I'm reading the job advertisements. Oh, here's one with Mrs. Crubb, the baker. Do you think you could lift one of these flower sacks? <laughs> I'm really sorry, Mr. Small. I'm sure you'd be a hard worker, but you're too small. Day after day, Mr. Small read the papers and looked everywhere for news of a job. Oh! Could this be his lucky day? Yes! This is the job for me! Mr. Chips, I've come about your newspaper advertisement for a carpenter's helper. Well, no offence, but you are, um, uh... Yes? Well, uh, small. Yes, that's it, small. Still, I'm not one to make hasty decisions. I'll think about it. Oh. I thought about it. No, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm worried. What's happened to Walter? I haven't seen him for days. Haven't you heard? He's in bed with an awful headache. Mm -hmm. Dr. Makewell has given us a headache pill, but we can't reach him. Very sad, isn't it, Miss Splendid? I could never be a personal friend of anyone as common as an earthworm. Huh? Nevertheless, I do feel sorry for the poor little chap. If only someone could get that pill to him. I can do it. I can do it. I've oh. got an idea. I'll get Mr. Oh. Tickle and meet you at Walter's place. They didn't hear me. Didn't even know I'm here. This shouldn't take long. Here's the pill, Mr. Tickle. Just reach down and give it to Walter. Me arm! It's stuck! I can't move! Don't panic. Could you help me, Mr. Strong? I was sure Mr. Tickle could reach him. What we need is someone who is exceedingly small to go down that wormhole. But it could be dangerous. I'll go, Mr. Clever. Mm. You're a brave fellow, Mr. Small. Good luck. Walter, Walter, <gasps> where are you? Here, are Mr. Small, here I am. And here I am, with Dr. Makewell's headache pill. Oh, I'm worried. Oh. Mr. Small has been down there a long time. Do you think they're all right? Huh? I'm fine, Mr. Worry. And as for Walter... Oh. I never felt better, thanks to Mr. Small. <laughs>